What happened at your school that shocks you to this day? District was too cheap to hire a real Spanish teacher so they hired a long term sub for my entire freshman year who didn't even speak the language. We just watched the complete run of Spongebob with English subtitles for the year. Mid 70s small town in Tennessee. Student brought her dad's kayi 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 lol outfit to school. One of the coaches put it on and started chasing two black guys around the classroom. Jewish teacher found out and lost her mind. Outcome, no one is allowed to bring their dad's kayi 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 lol outfit to school anymore. Otherwise, life goes on. My 7th grade English teacher used to have an anger problem. Granted I went to a bad school in a bad neighborhood. But he still got angry over nothing. He used to threaten to throw desks if we misbehave too much. One time this dude was yelling at a student and slapped the ruler down on the table. It broke in half and splinters flew everywhere. He was given teacher of the year later that year. It doesn't shock me much because it was that crazy but because how uncrazy we thought it was at the time. When I was around 11 or 12. And a more MSN were huge. There was a dummy account who suddenly started messaging a few of us with taunting messages, telling us that we were on their list. A couple other kids who weren't told that they were on the list tried messaging whoever it was and asking basically what that means. And they'd get variations on. Their time is running out or clocks ticking. Within about a week or so, it started escalating offline. We'd find photos of us printed off and left around the school with red X's drawn over our faces. Some of us had X's scratched on our lockers. One girl found a dead rat in her locker. Another guy had a chalk X on his home front door. And the wildest thing is nobody ever said anything. We laughed it off as a so weird thing. It wasn't until recently that a friend and I were talking about it in retrospect that I realized how ducked up it was. But that is some bad movie script level set up for a school shooting and we didn't say anything. The girl who found the rat had a friend get it out for her. The guy at home washed off the ex before his parents got her. And nothing ever happened. The messages started dying out and that was the end of it. But if my little sister told me today that that happened to her. I'd probably want nothing less than for them to fully investigate it and have her stay home from school until it's resolved. We had a game in gym class simply called the game we had to get a yoga ball to touch the opposing team's goal inside the gym. There were minimal rules. One of them being you could only use your body to play the game. For example you couldn't stab other players with knives etc. You could only fight if it was to get the yoga ball. You couldn't be too aggressive to people smaller than you. ETC. The gym teachers used this game to settle differences in the different gangs in the school. And it worked. I heard that this tradition had started because there had been constant violent fights in the courtyard during lunch and school staff was sick of it so they called the entire school into the gym and said this would be used to settle differences. I honestly believe this worked because people ended up just really liking the game and it was exercise so these high schoolers would just get worn down friendships were made rifts and gangs were mended and all was well i hear they play the game now mostly for funsies but sometimes still to mend rifts woke up and walked down the hall of my dorm to find someone had taken a sheet in the water fountain when i was 13 someone in my school shat on the floor in one of the corridors whilst everybody was outside for the break and it wasn't hidden in a corner it was in plain sight in front of windows and a glass door that led outside. Someone saw the turd from outside and everybody gathered around the door to look at the principal picking it up with a paper towel. We only learned who had done it a while after the event and it turns out it was this really weird kid that used to be in my class in primary school. And when I say weird I mean that he used to write about murdering and mutilating bodies when we wrote short stories as 10 year olds. Weird kid changed school after the turd fiasco and I haven't seen him since but I am very curious to know what became of him. A friend of mine was 13 when she was groomed by a teacher when we just started high school. She would linger after the school day and meet him in his classroom where they would make out. It lasted about a year. He had his email account open on his class computer one day when she was waiting for him and she saw that he was emailing a handful of other girls at the school. She testified against him about 6 years later. 
He was never struck off. Taught at the school for a long time. Married one of the teachers from the same school who supported him during his court hearings. A student was arrested when there was information on how to build a GOM on his computer. He seemed like a nice kid. I was completely normal, still am, but when I was a kid had infatuations with fireworks and electronics and all that. I used to play mad professor and think I was building gobs. Granted I had no duck in idea what I was doing but I never actually achieved anything besides the works and aluminum foil gom when I was 15. Don't know what it is? Look it up. My freshman year in high school some kid in 12th grade set himself on fire in front of the school building one morning while everyone was getting off the bus to go in. In college a kid died by jumping off of the second story of the pool house. They found him in the pool the next day. The school ruled it a suicide. However it seemed to me he was trying to dive into the pool. This means he probably wasn't alone. And if he wasn't. Whoever he was with didn't help or even call for help. A bunch of guys were playing basketball in the court outside. IDK how to describe it cause English isn't my first language but basically one of the guys was hanging on the thing where you shoot the ball and it broke. The guy hit his head on the ground. He died instantly. Thank god I didn't witness that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to handle it. Edit. Corrected the typo. I posted this once before. But. In my old high school. A student poured oil all over the hallways and stairs as a senior prank. A pregnant teacher stepped down the stairs and slipped. Unfortunately killing the fetus. It was tragic and I think that guy is still in jail. In 6th grade. A girl left the school crying and never came back. I didn't know what was happening at the time. But it turns out the girl had been pregnant and the two girls who knew. Her friends. Had told everyone about it. Now. This happened in Bhutan in the mid 2000s. So not everyone in grade 6 was 11 years old. This girl was 15 stroke 16 at the time. Her friends were the same age. I was 11 and I knew the girl. She would treat me like a younger brother. Picking me up from home on her way to walk to school. And dropping me off in the evening. This image of her using the hem of her tego, like a blazer for girls, to wipe her tears as she walked away is burned into my eyes. Every time I see the specific green shade of our school uniform. I think of her. She came from a poor family and I guess they made a little money through an informal bed and breakfast. The man who graped this little girl was a taxi driver. Our English teacher knew she was pregnant. And the plan had been to have the girl deliver the baby during summer break discreetly. But the girl's friends could not keep their mouths shut. I never heard from her again. I've asked about her. And the only things I've heard in the last few years is that she eventually did go back to school. I get so angry thinking about this. A boy at my school tried to heal himself in the boys bathroom by slitting his wrists. But was luckily saved by a student wagging, skipping class, and I remember always seeing him around school and he always seemed to make everyone laugh and smile. And always seemed happy. Sometimes the happiest people are the ones going through the most. Edit, for those wondering. He's made a full recovery and got help for his mental illness. He's doing much better now. Some kid slipped. Banged his head on a table and started having a seizure while blood trickled out of his ears. Didn't come back for a few weeks and when he did. Made a fake IG with some teachers faces hitting a blunt and got suspended. So in the wood shop there was this extra bathroom that he teacher let some of the boys use if they didn't want to go all the way down to the end of the hallway to use the main restroom. Well he decided to close it down and never let anyone use it again. Wanna know why? Some kid, never found out who, pooped in his hand and smeared it on the wall and even drew little pictures with it. This was in middle school, ages 11, 14. Ducking middle school. The cheerleaders were selling sweatshirts for a fundraiser. One of them asked a teacher if he wanted to buy one. Teacher looked her dead in the eye and said I'll give you $50 for the one you're wearing right now. Needless to say that was his last day as a teacher. That was almost 25 years ago. I still can't comprehend how a grown ass man could throw his career away in a single sentence like that. 
male teacher who was married with a new baby slept with a student i think student was around 16. the most memorable part was when another teacher walked into the middle of class one day and punched him after finding out they were good friends also it was a christian school lol probably like fifth grade obviously nobody fully understood what six was but groups of guys used to go into the bathroom and pay each other five dollars minus twenty dollars to blow each other they got caught eventually they took the door off all the boys bathrooms and they could only piss one in the bathroom at a time fast forward to seventh grade a dude waits in the bathroom and begs several guys to blow him he got caught and in a lot of trouble